Okay, we are back for the next part of the show. And there's a reason why I didn't say next topic, because I don't want to even classify this as a topic. I want to classify this as an open discussion. Before we get to the NBA, I want us to give our, I don't even know how to even say it, thoughts, you know, regarding the death of Tyree Nichols at the hands of law enforcement. And whoever wants to start us off and be the brave person to really go at this first, by all means. Uh um, I'll take it. Go ahead. Um, yeah. Listen, man, this is a touchy situation. Um, I'm a father, and that child, and I, I, I viewed him as a child, got murdered, and his family, uh, they they can't recover from that. There's there's no recovery. There's no recovery time. There's no recovery. So. That young man dying, there's a family that's part of them that is dead, and they they can never rise back up. You know what I mean? Um, it's 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 horrible. So from from that perspective, you know, my regards go out to family, man, and um, you know, it's very unfortunate, right? Now let me go wide range, and I don't I don't want to sit up here and talk about all the incidents that we can name from all the names that we can name when it comes down to African American men and police. We can go through a list of names. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. And at this particular juncture is African-American cops, right? So I'm hearing some whispers like, oh, what are they going to say? No, because now it's black cops, right? So I, I want to make something clear, and I want to be clear about this. We, as black folk or black people, do not, and I want to repeat, do not agree with crime, okay? We do not agree with anybody committing crime, okay? We are working people. We go to work and want justice for all. You see that? Justice for all. We not. We never side the crime. We never condone crime. So it doesn't matter what crime is being committed. We don't condone it. So yes, I want them indicted. Yes, I want them to go to jail. Yes, I want them to pay for that, right? That makes sense? Um, so... Yeah, but guess what? We want to fair across the board. So if there's a white police officer doing that, we take same energy. Come at them with the indictment right away. Get them right away. That's what we want. We want justice. We I think always you're cutting want up because you kind of cut it out. My fault. Cutting up just a little I'm bit. It's not terrible. I was letting it rock, but you're cutting up a little bit more. Okay, hold on. Let me try this. How about now? Um, a no? little better. A little better. All right. Yeah. A little better? I'm good now or no? I um, still could use a little work. All right. So somebody goes, somebody else. Yeah. Take Zay, over. Zay yeah. you take over and then we head it back to Fred once he gets ready. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Um, oh. It's disgusting how in situations happen on a night in, night out basis, we're seeing a child being shot. You know, a young a young man, uh, a man who still had a life ahead of him, being taken away by the um, law enforcement. Um, the law enforcement has shown year in, year out, decade after decades, that they are violently, they're violently, they're attacking civilians that rather they commit a crime or not, are not causing anyone else pain, anyone else suffering. But mm -hmm. the first thing they need, they feel like they need to do to retaliate or to, to cause action is to draw their guns or jump a child, a man. Seven, eight cops hold them down and punch them repeatedly. Um, put their knee on their back, on their chest, draw their weapons, do do whatever they need to exert their their um, power. But they don't do this against violent criminals. They don't do this against people that are, that are committing violent acts. They actually arrest them. They detain them. They, those are the people, the people that have the violent um past, the ones that are, are being violent and attacking civilians and hurting other people and killing other people are the ones being arrested. The ones being hauled off to jail, and then they're not even spending sentences for like, taking a life they're, they're spending three four years in prison for a homicide we, what, what what is going on here like it doesn't make it doesn't make sense that law enforcement hasn't gotten it right yet they don't understand that what they've been taught what they've been trained to do is not the correct way to police anybody to believe the police themselves let alone um if this if this is if this is going to continue 
to to be the the their uh, reaction to when crimes are happening or when they're being called. Um, you know, maybe defunding the police is the way to go because if they're not going to protect them and all they're doing is causing more hurt and pain towards other people, then what what good are they? You know, police aren't called when um, people are um, are preventing crimes from happening. They're called when crimes are happening. Right. No, one's being, no, no crimes are prevented by the police. And then people need to understand that. Now, there's not a single police officer that prevented a crime or just, just showed up on a site and prevented a crime. It, it was already happening when they arrived. So it, it's disgusting that Tyree Nichols had to lose his, them, his life because right. of officers don't know how to not exert their power. It is, is disgusting to continually see on a week in, week out basis. I'm getting sick of it. Um, you know, I got nieces, I got nephews, I got younger sisters, younger siblings, um, younger family members. I, it, it it only breaks my heart when I see okay. things in this nature. Condolences to the family, you know, and, and like Freddie said, there is no uh you know healing process with this. This yeah. is things forever. And you know, I'm just sorry that his family has to go through this. Yeah. Um, Cuzzo, you want to finish yeah. your lap? Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that, cousin. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. My point is, as African-American people, we don't condone crime, right? And I, I believe, or and, and large, we are law-abiding citizens that go to work, right? There's a selective few. Just like the police would say, there's a selective few. And don't judge them for the selective few. But unfortunately, y'all judging us for the selective few. See, if I'm a, a black man, six feet two, 200 pounds, I'm looked upon as a criminal, although I'm a father and a man that goes to work. You see how that works? You're judging me by selective few. There is some selective African-American men out here that commit crimes, but that don't mean all African-American men is committing crime. You understand what I'm saying? So why are you using the selective few to judge us when y'all don't want us to use the selective few, few to judge y'all? Problematic. Now let's go big picture. Big picture is this. It doesn't matter if you're an African-American cop. It's systematic racism, right? So if I joined a group and I could be a, a guy that's got great morals and it's 250,000 people, I'm still going to be judged by that 250,000 people, even though I got great morals. You see what I'm saying? So as African-American men, be careful when you join in an organization that is looked upon to attack black people you don't know understand what i'm saying like that's so if you join if you're going to be a cop as an african-american male stand by your morals stand by your morals and really be a cop call out other cops stop other crimes from happening even if within the police department if you see a situation like that one of those mentioned hey hey that's enough let them up let's arrest them take them to jail not one of them did that and i have a problem with that because what's wrong with your morals you see what i'm saying not one of them can say that's enough not one person can say, hey, let's be easy. We're going to take them in now. Let's detain them. Let's arrest them. Let's put them in cuffs. Let's throw them in the cuffs. Nobody can say that. But I also want to go here real quick, and I'm going to turn it over to you, cousin. Black folk, from my own personal history, always called out black cops, right? The great late John Singleton, go look it up, Boys in the Hood, 1991. He purposely put a scene in that movie, the black cop pitting the gun to his head purposely done because we we understand that that happens in our community also nwa with f the police 1988 black police showing out for the white cop that line was put there for a reason because we understand that happens way too often and it don't get enough attention that's why that was said this is 30 years ago i'm talking about these are things that was said 30 years ago that we talked about black cops showing out for white cops okay or a black cop thinking he can now put a gun to the black male's head. This is not something brand new. And we've been calling them out just in case because I've been hearing a lot of things. Oh, they're not going to call the black cops. Oh, we've been calling out black cops. What are you kidding me? We've been doing this. So at the end of the day, we don't condone crime no matter who's committing it. Black cop or white cop, they all need to be indicted. Yeah, I think for me, I'm going to take a another angle here but we all going to land at the same finish line i think for me the main issue for me when you talk about stuff like this that nobody really is talking about is mainstream media and what's their role in all of this 
What's the role of the mainstream media in this whole thing? And I'm explaining what their role is right now. First of all, I did not see the video. I'm glad I didn't. I have no plans to do it ever. <laughs> Obviously, mm-hmm. I live with family. So maybe upon being around family who's watching the news, maybe I might see it. I hope not. I don't get myself caught up in those things. You know, um, I try not to because it kills your spirit. Right. It makes yeah. you look at things from a radical perspective and not think of things from a peace perspective. Right. It's so easy to get radical. You know, mm-hmm. I had classes where we was talking about the Holocaust and slavery, where I left that classroom ready to knock somebody out. OK, <laughs> but I had to say to myself, that's how they want me to feel. That's how they want me to react. That's a trap to get me locked up. We have to realize we are walking as people, white and black. We are walking in the trap right now. And the trap is the mainstream clickbait media. I happened to go on TikTok and I saw that they was counting down on the news, the video release of this footage. Counting that joint down like it's a ball drop. This is what's going to be dropped in a couple minutes. Mainstream media, I can't make this up. Mm. Counting that joint down like it's a ball drop. You know why? Because it was a ball drop to them, to the people who's trying to divide us and conquer us. It was a ball drop to them. It was a celebration at midnight. The clock struck midnight, okay, for them because it was a celebration. It was a party. And we have to realize not to get caught up in that foolishness. Listen, I grew up with cops that are cops now, okay? Mm. I'm talking about guys that I grew up with, with the middle school Mm. with. Who right. came to my house, played Madden, okay, and they grew up to be cops. I've came across good cops. I came across bad cops. Absolutely. I got stopped by a, a daggone police officer in a driving school car, okay, <laughs> literally. And I also had instances where police came to my house, and I had my guard up, and they were the nicest people I met. Tell me, stay in school, make sure I go to college and graduate. So I'm not going to sit here and use this as a way to just put everybody in a box and right. say. Screw the cops, defund the police. I'm not going to say none of that. What we need to start doing is stop listening to media because we are playing into their game and we don't even realize that. Do y'all realize that the movies that they keep showing us, Emmett Till, didn't that just came out a year ago? How long ago did this happen? Years ago, but it came out last year as a reminder to who we really are. People on a plantation, maybe not physically, but mentally. That's why they dropped their Emmett Till. That's why they dropped the movie with Will Smith that I saw a couple weeks ago, Emancipation. Are they dropping any movies about the Holocaust? When was the last time they dropped a movie about the Holocaust? Because they're not reminding Jews anything. They were reminding black people of where they are and where they stand currently in America. And we need to stop falling into that trap. Turn the mainstream media off. Support new media like ours. Okay, stop that foolishness. Don't get caught up into it. Because guess what? You're going to be the one that end up like that. You're going to be the one that end up in jail. Keep it up. I'm done.